Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Q-Man and this is 250 Off-Road. Today I got a package in the mail from One Car Stereo and they had sent me their AI box light. Now this is supposed to connect to your factory dash uh, through your CarPlay. It should work for, it's supposed to work for iPhone, Android, um, Google phones and uh, and that. So let's uh, let's open the box and see what we got going on. All right, guys. So this is what I got. This is from One Car Stereo. This is the AI Box Light, and this is supposed to connect to your Apple CarPlay in your vehicle. Now I am in my Jeep JLU 2018. And uh, let's let's take this thing apart and uh, see if it connects. All right, guys. So I've got it plugged into my USB Type A port, um, and then it's a USB Type C on the box itself. Uh, the little lights came on, and uh, I'm going to see what actually happens. I uh, just turned it on, just plugged it in, and uh, oh, we got something pulling up here on the screen now. It says Android. Not sure what is going to pull up. And then it's detecting the device. So let me get that connected and then we'll do some testing on that. A few moments later. Okay, we got the box connected. I have connected it to my phone. And as you can see, once I've got it connected and Bluetooth and it connected to CarPlay, uh, the new display does come up on the screen. Actually pretty cool. Um, let's see what we've got going on here. So if we click on the CarPlay, it takes us to some music that I've got on my phone. So we'll go, we'll go back, back to home here. And let's check out, uh, see if Netflix works. And we'll just pop that up, see what the connection time is. Oh, there we go, popped right up. That's pretty cool. And we'll see how long this takes for it to load. One eternity later. Okay, so not sure what is going on there, but it doesn't seem to want to load. Now, I don't know, maybe I'm just not connected properly. I'm not entirely sure. Let's get this sorted out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I had to go into the settings, do a few little things, had to log into my accounts, had to set up the Wi-Fi. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I'm not gonna bore you with that because there are plenty of other videos that go through it step by step. I just wanted to show you the functions of what we got. So this is the home screen in the CarPlay through the AI box light. We do have YouTube, so we'll give that a try. And we'll let that load up for a second here. There we go. And that popped right up to my page, so I'm logged into that. So let's just check to see one of my videos, see how that plays. Now this is connected through the hotspot on my phone. so. It could be a little jittery, it could be a little slower, it's hard to say, but uh, we'll let that load up and we'll see if it plays. We got the spinning wheel. It all looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, jarring, so maybe it'll just take a second for all of that stuff to clear. There we go. And uh, yeah, the video's playing. The quality is, you know, not too bad considering it's going through hotspot. I bet it would be much better if you were connected to uh, Wi-Fi maybe from your house or uh, other other Wi-Fi location nearby. That's always the challenge when you're, you know, using the Wi-Fi off of your phone to watch these videos. Now the quality definitely looks pretty low. I don't know what the quality is here coming through. Now again, it could just be, let's see here, quality, um, auto recommended, Let's see what we can change this up because it's coming through just at 240. So let's see if we can get this up to at least 1080p. See if that loads. Might just take a little bit more bandwidth, but yeah, it's still pretty grainy. Um, not entirely sure. It seems to be working okay, but it is grainy. I don't know what the audio was like. Give that a try. Yeah, so we do got the audio. That's not too bad. So let's go back to the home screen. We just push that little button, push the home screen, 
And then of course we can check on Netflix. See how long that takes to load up. There we go. I can log into my account and we'll see how that pulls up. Yeah, so it looks like you can do some downloads to this device. That would be good. That would probably help with the delay time. I believe there's 16 gigs of built-in data into the AI Box Lite. You'd have to double check. But it looks like it's, you know, it's working. It's a little slow. But again, that just could be my hotspot on my phone for where I'm at right now. Um, might be able to give that a try with, you know, connecting it to my house uh, Wi-Fi and see how that goes. Now, it does look like we got some built-in video. I have not looked at this yet. Oh, it looks like we got a trailer from the Fast and Furious franchise. And of course, that's looking really good. So that's downloaded directly into the unit itself. So I would say probably the best bet would be to, you know, either connect it directly to your Wi-Fi or download to an external thumb drive for the videos. Now you can connect an external thumb drive right into this USB type C right into the end of the box. That would probably solve the issue. So that way, if you are offline um, or out camping or somewhere where the Wi-Fi is not existent, at least you can plug it in directly into that and you'll probably get all your full quality back. So overall, not a bad little thing. It's, uh, it's small, it fits, you know, nicely down into my little slot down in here if I didn't have some other stuff in there, but it does fit down in there. So if you're a Jeep owner, it does work. Um, it does get you the car plate, all the connections. So that part's pretty neat. So overall, you know, is it worth buying? I think so. I think it's cool when you can have your phone connected wirelessly. You don't need any cables connected to that. You don't have to have your phone plugged in. So, you know, if you want to have your phone on the charger or just somewhere else, that part works good. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little finicky. It could just be the Wi-Fi. I think if you had better Wi-Fi or better reception, that'd be great. I really like the opportunity that you can add a thumb drive into the unit itself. So that way you can download movies or whatever. So if you're out camping, you've got the movies, you can watch them right there on your display, which is pretty neat. So it just adds another little feature extra little fun to your vehicle, your camping trips, whatever overlanding you might be doing. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a, a quick review on the unit. Um, full disclosure, they did send me the unit. Uh, One Car Stereo sent me the unit for free. They didn't tell me whether the review had to be good or not. Um, so this is just my personal opinion on the unit itself. I think it's a nice small little unit, easy to connect, easy to hook up. And uh, yeah, I would definitely I would definitely buy it if, uh, if I had to. To, to do that. But uh, like I said, this unit was sent to me for free and this is my review. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. My name is Q-Man. This is 250 Off-Road. Really appreciate it. If you like the channel and the content, please remember to like, subscribe and share and leave a comment below. If you have any questions, you can also check out the link in the description below as there is an affiliate link to there for this particular unit. If you want to buy it, uh, go through that link if you want to. And uh, you guys enjoy your day and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.